Gen Nano 4 is a specialized model which comes native with MCP support. This specialized 4 billion parameter model has been engineered specifically for deep research applications with a key focus on seamless integration with model context protocol servers that connect it to various research tools and data sources. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Unlike general purpose language models, Gen Nano has been optimized to excel in research oriented tasks and evaluated using MCP based benchmarking on the simple QA dataset, which measures both its factual accuracy and its effectiveness when augmented with external tools. We are going to install it locally and we will see how exactly this model works. The approach by the way provides a more realistic assessment of the model's capability in real world research scenarios where it can use any native MCP integration to access and utilize various research sources. So let me take you to my terminal and we will get rolling. So I am using this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Okay, so now the tool which I'm going to use in order to run this model and serve on my local system is VLLM with text generation web UI as its graphical user interface. If you don't know what that is, Please go to my channel, search with VLLM and then watch any one of these videos where I have explained it in great detail. Maybe if you go with the first video, you can get it installed in no time um, from scratch the VLLM plus the GUI. And if you're following along, I'm assuming that you already have watched this video and have VLLM running on my on your system just uh, like I have. So. I'm just going to run this script where I'm providing it this hugging face github repo and this should start downloading this model the model is quite lightweight as you can see here while it downloads let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and the model is now downloaded now you can serve the model locally by running simply this command which is going to serve this model by using vllm and then it will provide you an open ai based api compatible uh, endpoint which you can use in your application okay it is just asking me to also install upgrade my transformer because i haven't upgraded it yet it's a new model so you would just need to do that and you can simply use this command so let me run this and now the model is loaded now you can either access it through your api in curl or in your python code or even in the gui as it is now being served so for instance you can see that now i am accessing this model in my um, web interface with the simple ubabuga text generation web ui and if I go to the models, the model is already loaded here and you can start chatting with it. So let's try to chat with it a bit just to see how exactly um, this model performs. I'll just ask it, hello, uh, introduce yourself. And it's a thinking model. And you see it is just going through that uh, chain of thought. And it is based on Quan, it seems. Very interesting. So they have simply fine tuned the Quan model in order to work it with their MCP servers. Interesting. Now, this text generation web UI doesn't come uh, native with MCP server support. You would also have to install um, external dependencies, which is a bit still, I think, not mature enough at the moment. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a code um, where we would be calling this server which is already being run uh, uh, through our VLLM and then we will be using the MCP support. So let me take you to the code and through which we will be calling MCP server.
Now, in order to use it in your Python code, you would need to restart your text generation web UI in API mode. And you would just have to add this dash dash API like I am doing. So it is going to start it on the local host and it is going to expose that API endpoint to it is loading it onto a GPU. There you go. So we have this port 5000. So we're all good. Now this is where we will run it. But let me first show you the code. All I'm doing in this code, there is no MCP yet. I am accessing that endpoint. And then I am testing that model connection. This is our Menlo Gen Nano. I'm just loading it. I am passing it simple prompts here with different tests just to check out if it works or not. So these are the test prompts. And we already have checked out that it's a reasoning sort of model. It just self reflects. Okay. So this is a simple code which I'm going to run and show you. So you see it is it has connected. It is now doing simple inference. I'm just asking it what are the key components of a research model. It, this is the response, which is quite good actually, not bad at all. For a 4 billion parameter model, I would say. You see, it is providing a very grounded answer. It's not very detailed, but still, I think very grounded to the point and in the true spirit of the research, it doesn't really beat around the bush, so which is quite good. Okay. Now we know that our model works with inference. Let's check out how exactly it works with the MCP server. Okay, so now in this example, I'm going to show you how to do a practical integration between this Jan Nano model and the MCP server, a real world MCP server, which would allow us to do file handling. So this is primarily showing how this model can be augmented with external tools for enhanced capabilities. So you see, after importing the libraries, all I'm doing, I'm just creating a simple Python class for our MCP client. And then in this class, there are some uh, servers, uh, MCP servers you can define. For example, I'm just going to go with this free server, which allows us to do the file handling. And we don't have to worry about what exactly is going on in that mcp server that allows us to have that abstraction we are initializing it we are sending the message whatever we want it to do and then um, we are making some api calls through to the running model server and then we are going to save the generated content from the model onto our file system there you go so mcp is doing the work for us for reading and writing of the files and then there is some cleanup which you can do I haven't really done the exception handling in this, so but does not matter? It is just a makeshift code, which I am going to use it. So let me run this to show you how exactly this thing works. You see, it has started the MCP server. We asked the model about to write about AI research. This is a generated content and MCP has successfully saved it. And then it is again creating the summary. You can ignore this warning because I haven't really, as I said, done the exception handling, but you can see that our MCP server is working. The files have been saved here in the temp directory. And then because I'm not doing any cleanup, so that is why. Otherwise you can see that MCP has done all the uh, heavy lifting around our file management. So for instance, if you go to this directory, you will see all the files which have been written by this mcp server so if i do cd and if i go here if i do ls these are the stuff you see it has not only saved the response of the model but also the summary of the model the mcp server the model is generating this content mcp server uh, is doing all the file handling for it so this is the whole point and as i said you can just integrate any mcp server natively with this model let me show you the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming close to 9 gig of VRAM. So pretty handy model. I think uh, pretty cool in terms of using it with MCP. Let me know your thoughts. If you like the content, please like and share the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps. Thank you for all the support.